We have a delivery, a new batch of postcards all the way from Orbis, revealing a number of awesome new blocks, mobs, and features that the Hytale world has to offer. With the anniversary of the trailer quickly approaching, and the promise of big announcements from the team on the horizon, perhaps now's a better time than any to take a peek into the community and catch up on all that's been going on. Welcome back to Quebec Connor. My name is Connor, and today on Hytale News Updates, we cover the five new in-game images that were revealed by the Hypixel team this last month, and discuss the potential features they may be teasing at. With new mobs, blocks, and interesting systems, you're not going to want to miss this one. To wrap up, we'll also be talking about some big Twitter highlights from the team and showcase some killer Halloween fan art. This video is happily sponsored by Server Pro. Server Pro not only allow you to set up custom Minecraft servers for both Java and Bedrock, but they also support Terraria too, and they can allow you to host the next big Hytale server. With added support for modding and scripting, why not start your journey today, sign up for the newsletter, and get a free Minecraft server which you can swap over once Hytale is launched. Link in the description. A moment of respite in a shaded grove as dusk sets over a distant ridgeline. The first image we receive is described as a shaded grove that we can take a good guess at being located in zone 2. Obviously the first thing to point out here is the brand new mob reveals, a goat and a kid. That's the name for a baby goat, by the way. They seem like a standard neutral mob that will help make the world feel more alive. It's interesting also that there's some sort of ruin or camp to the left of them. No doubt this is what the adventurer has come to find. Speaking of, this adventurer is Buddha Cat, and he's wielding an awesome looking cloud steel bow. Cloud steel? How about uh, wind iron? Mm, gust metal? W whatever the actual name, we know this weapon theme is consistent with the prior postcards, placing them all within the same set, the sword, the staff, the bow, and the upcoming axe that we're yet to showcase. There are also some trees with thinner trunks, which is a nice variation to see that it's not just all one block thick. It also once again makes me wonder what they'll look like when falling down in game. Looming horrors await in these sinister, night-chilled woods. Trapped in a spooky forest, this new adventurer attempts to avoid void eyes and keep crawlers at bay using the light of his torch. This is definitely a fitting image for October, you have the dead branches, and we even get a better size comparison of the void mobs to the player character. Man, those void eyes are huge! I also have to say I love the green smoke oozing from them. Could it be toxic gas of some kind? We get a great look at the back of a crawler too, a long spine with ribs, very human-like, and backing up our theory about the Outlander rituals. See that video here if you've missed it. The crawler to the left, which is slightly closer to the light source, is actually raising its arm, similar to how we've seen Fenstalkers do in the past when a player wields a torch. Our budding hero in the helmet? Well, I believe judging by his Twitter profile picture, that's the new design director, John Hendricks. Or at worst case, just someone we've previously seen but with a helmet on, I guess. Perusing a pumpkin patch for the perfect pick. Nice alliteration there, by the way. I love these farming overalls and boots, as we get to see a pumpkin patch with this postcard. We see the different stages and sizes of growth, as well as the classic farming wagon that seems to be so important to the game. There's some fluorescent mushrooms in the background if you'll notice, and come to think of it, this and every other biome the postcards have had have felt very autumnal. A further representation of this is a falling leaf, in fact you can see a few of them around. This is a nice effect. I played a few games that have this effect, and it's definitely noticeable in Minecraft with mods. It can be really atmospheric. It also appears as if this player has acquired a Firefly Lantern, no doubt they've taken a visit to the Quebex, and they even have a door with a lock on it. But the question is, is it usable? A soaring mage's tower rises beyond the dunes, promising a new challenge to any intrepid adventurers which may be passing by. Another postcard with that classic cloud steel weaponry, this time a one-handed axe with a very fancy looking grip, as well as a shield in the same style. Axe and shield certainly sound like a fun combination. He's also rocking the same armor here, could this be a story about Buddha's adventure across Orbis? Other than showcasing the amazing terrain generation and foliage variety here, we are also told that this generation is a mage tower, seemingly abandoned, but something tells me probably not. The tower soars high, with its prefab nature allowing it to have all sorts of architecture, unique areas, layers, and even natural growths like vines and trees. Further below the tower, we also get to see some green ores that are protruding from the ground. All that pumpkin picking has paid off. Happy Halloween from the Hytale team. With this next image, I've decided that Hytale is officially haunted. That's right. 
What looks like an ordinary Halloween festival is not what it seems. With stalls set up, a bloke with an orange coat and snazzy wizard hat, this player prepares a special brew in the cauldron. You can actually see the water splashing from whatever ingredient he's added. Unless he's just waving, that is, but either way, we have a creepy set of candle holders, a player dressed as a bunny, a gravestone hiding in the background, the player from the pumpkin patch teaser, and then a player actually wearing a pumpkin. Funny. I also really like the idea of being able to dye the cloth material here different colours. You can see how they made a sort of tent out of it. We even get the spooky totem statue that was revealed in last year's Halloween teaser. But like I said, that's not all. If you'll remember, there was actually a spooky unwanted guest spotted in last year's image too. The headless horseman, or the, the pumpkin horseman, riding in the shadows with a pumpkin as a replacement for his head. One would think that was just a little goo for a gag that isn't to return. But now, what do we see scrolling up to the top of this year's image? Watching over everything. Ooh, creepy. Also weird how statues always seem to make this purple stuff grow. Could this be linked to the Headless Horseman? Could the Horseman himself be a dangerous mob? An apparition or ghoul? Or maybe something more? Maybe a messenger for Varen, keeping tabs on our progression and adventures through the game. Man, that would be creepy. Just imagine surviving in your world and then suddenly catching a pumpkin dude staring at you. Last but not least, we get a glimpse of something purple in the window. I'd say it's reminiscent of the void, either that or the window itself is smashed. As you can see from the images, a whole bunch of stuff was revealed as we continue into November. It's super exciting as we only have one month left until the Hytale trailer's second anniversary, and the team said they'd only need a few months before dropping some substantial reveals and announcements. Not wanting to get anyone too hyped here, but let's keep our fingers crossed. On Twitter this month, Noxie actually gave the channel a shout out himself, linking the community fan art video we did on his Twitter. I'm super thankful for the support, especially coming from the top dog, and I couldn't agree with him more on how important fan art is to a community. He said, I really love this super wholesome video from Quebec Corner. Love fan art, I never take it for granted. It motivates the team more than any of you will ever properly suspect. Thanks all. Not really a feature confirmation next, but more of a feature denial. Noxie turned down the idea that there would be a video editor as part of the Hytale package, which makes sense if you think about it. A model maker already allows for texturing, animating, and there's already plenty of actual video editing software out there. That's not to say that there won't be some built-in screen capturing mechanics though, or even footage replays. Noxie also took a stand for the community and us content creators when one random developer began ranting on Twitter about how streamers are lucky that they don't have to pay to play games. Noxie says over 50% of Hypixel's users claim to come from YouTube and other websites, and over 25% from word of mouth. He says the content creators have done enough at that point. In less serious news, the audio team has recently been communicating their grievances politely via meme format. And a recent rumour that started up last month was also dispelled. Supposedly, a random website listed Hytale and had a leaked release date of the 31st of December 2021, which was scaring people. However, Noxie was quick to douse the fire and say they never filled in that form. Phew. Buddha had a brand new Twitter avatar taken from an autumn biome, and Noxie also has a new avatar art by Thomas Frick. In more team-based news, Hytale is hiring even more positions, three new design roles. A senior games designer for multiplayer, a senior games designer for social and personalization, and a UX design lead. Now, as usual, let's wrap up with some incredible community art, this time predominantly Halloween themed.
amazing works of art as always. Make sure to follow every single one of these guys in the description and you yourself will be ingrained into the Hytale fan art community. Last but not least, I'd like to say a huge thank you to you guys. We just smashed 30k out of nowhere. Honestly, it feels like we were at 20k literally a week ago. And the Minecraft related videos in particular have been receiving a lot of activity. So hopefully some of you will be sticking around to check out more of the Hytale related stuff. Speaking of which, if you want to chat with Hytale enthusiasts and fans such as yourself, then make sure to join the Quebec Corner Discord server, link in the description. Make sure to let me know in the comments what videos you'd like to see next. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and thanks as always for watching Quebec Corner. Stay safe and keep free.